Have you been asked to divide a polynomial by a trinomial and you're not sure where to start? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you how easy that is to do in today's video. But first, I want to say I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now, back to the video. If you're someone who finds math tricky, give this video a thumbs up. That way I'll know to make more videos to simplify math for you. All right, in today's video, we're going to divide a polynomial. Poly just means many, many terms. And this is our polynomial. It's got many terms. By a trinomial, that's something that has three terms. One, two, three. So each term is separated by a plus or a minus sign, just like in the polynomial. A plus or minus sign separates the terms, and tri means three, so we have three terms here. If we had two terms, we could use synthetic division to solve this, and I did do a video on synthetic division. I've linked that up here. But since this is a trinomial that we're dividing into a polynomial, we have to use long division. The principles are going to be similar to any kind of long division, so let's just work our way through it. We're going to first look at the first term here and the first term here. And we're going to find out how many times does this term go into that term? Well, x squared divided into x to the fourth power. If I were just to write that out, it's x to the fourth power divided by x squared, right? And we could just think of that as x times x times x times x, right? Divided by x squared to be xx. And we can cancel those out. And that would leave us x times x, which is, of course, x squared. So x squared goes into x to the fourth power x squared times. So I'm going to write that like that up there. Now I have to divide, I now have to multiply this x squared by each of these terms. So I'm going to do the first one first, x squared times x squared, that gives us x to the fourth power. Whatever you're picking for here needs to make this exactly this, so you can eliminate it when we start subtracting. So make sure that it's not just close, that it exactly matches this first term. Now we're going to take the x squared and we're going to multiply it by 2x. So 2x times x squared, and it's a positive times a positive, is plus 2x cubed, because x, x times x squared would be x cubed. Next, we're going to take the x squared and we're going to multiply it by the negative 1. Negative 1 times x squared is negative 1x squared, or you could have just wrote it as negative x squared. You didn't need to write the negative 1 part. Let's draw a line, and now we're going to subtract this whole line. Let's subtract this whole line, but I want to make sure that you don't miss anything because what you're doing when you're subtracting, if you remember to change the signs for each of those, so I like to put parentheses around this whole line of terms and put a minus out here. That reminds me that I have to distribute that minus to all of them. Otherwise, it's real easy to miss it. So now we're going to take these and subtract, or really what we do, wind up doing is adding them. But, so I've got a negative x to the fourth power, and I'm adding a negative x to the fourth, I mean to a positive x to the fourth power, so that's a zero. Then I'm going to take this, I'm going to change the sign to negative 2x cubed. So negative 2x cubed and a minus 2x cubed is negative 4x cubed, right? So negative 2, and this becomes a negative because I'm changing the sign as I distribute the negative. So that negative 2x cubed and negative 2x cubed is negative 4x cubed. And then we're going to change the sign to this one to a positive x squared. I've got 3x squared, and I've got one more x squared. That's a plus 4x squared. Try working this out at home, and you'll see how you get there. Now I'm going to bring down this term. 
that's a minus 4x. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to look at this first term, negative 4x cubed. And I'm going to say, how many times does x squared go into that? Well, it's going to go into it negative 4. And since I've got x cubed here and an x squared here, I'm just going to need an x, right? So now I'm going to multiply that by all of these terms. Negative 4x times x squared is negative 4 x cubed and negative 4x times 2x is negative 8x squared and then I've got negative 4x times negative 1 becomes positive 4x. Draw a line. I'm going to use parentheses again and I'm going to remind myself that I'm subtracting everything here. In other words, let's just change the signs. So this becomes a positive 4x cubed and this is a negative 4x cubed so that becomes a 0. I've got a 4x squared and we're changing the sign here to a plus 8x squared so this becomes 12 because it's 4 plus 8 is 12x squared and then I'm going to change the sign here this is a minus 4x, and this is a minus 4x here, so I've got minus 8x. So far, so good. Bring down the last term, which is a plus 6. I'm going to push this up just a little bit so I have room to work. I'm going to look at this first term, 12x squared, and ask myself how many times does x, does x squared go to 12x squared? Well, it goes into positive 12 times. Positive 12 times x squared is positive 12x squared. Remember, whenever we're trying to find this term, we want to turn this term into that exact term. The same sign and everything. And then 12 times 2x is plus 24x. And then 12 times negative 1 is negative 12. Draw a line put my parentheses, put the negative out here, and remember that I'm changing the sign of each of them inside there. So I've got 12x squared, and this becomes a negative 12x squared. Of course, this is a zero. Then I've got, I changed the 24x to a negative 24x, and then I've got a negative 8x, that's negative 32x. And then I changed the 12 because I'm distributing the negative becomes a positive 12 plus 6 is plus 18. Negative 32 x squared does not go into it because this is an x and that's an x squared so we are done. This is going to be our remainder here. So I'm going to write the answer as what's on top here. The answer is x squared minus 4x plus 12, right, x squared minus 4x plus 12, and then my remainder I write as a plus, and I draw the line, and I put this top part here, negative 32x plus 18, and my denominator is going to be my original denominator, which is x squared plus 2x minus 1. This is the answer to the division problem above. Now you know how to divide a polynomial by a trinomial, but there's so much more you need to know. So subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.